Hello, and welcome to Breaking the Stone, Beef 2 Fan Mission by Hitbridger. Let's jump right in. A satchel found its way into my residence recently, and that leaves me uneasy. The contents included a map to a town called Melii. There was also a sealed letter, a second letter addressed to myself, and 3,000 in gold. After my initial apprehension, I opened the letter addressed to me. Mr. Garrett, it is good to finally track you down and request for assistance. As you may or may not know, change is rapidly occurring across this region as Archmage Victus forces his tyranny and beliefs on more and more innocent towns. After uncovering the secrets of the Dryads, those with whom we once shared our lives, he has extended his stay in our town of Melii, torturing and killing anyone who disobeys him. We, who choose to remain anonymous, wish to employ you to remove Victus from our town. We don't care how, but we need him gone. In addition to this, we have produced a sealed letter from Victus' second-in-command, Valeria, in which she describes her plans to destroy Victus and assume his position as Archmage. You must plant this false evidence to cover all traces of our interference, thereby removing two problems at once. If you do this, we will be forever in your debt. Take this 3,000 in gold as a good faith payment, for thrice that awaits you if you succeed. This doesn't sound easy, but I can't pass up the opportunity. I will begin on the cliff face, making my way in unnoticed. Once I find a way to rid the town of Victus, and pick up a few extra coins for myself, I will meet with Basso outside the main gate, where he's posing as a beggar with a carriage, waiting for my departure. Hey, never hurts to have a quick escape plan. is a good word, isn't it? Alright, remove Archmage Victus from Ilya. Use any means necessary. I thought I was a thief, not a murderer, but I guess I'm... No, I guess I'm stealing him away. Haha. <laughs> Plant false evidence in Valeria's quarters. Optional. Find the three hidden relics in town. Get 950 loot. We'll check that up in a minute. And when finished, meet with Basso outside the main gate to the south and leave Ilya. Hard. Someone knows where you live. Find your information. And take it for yourself. The archive seems like a logical place to begin searching. Find your information and take it for yourself. Hold the information on me, I see. And 1450 loot. An expert, do not kill anyone because the last thing you want to do is attract unwanted attention. And 2100 loot. You know what? No, let's start. Let's do hard. If I need to kill someone, I will. I mean, yeah, they've, hired, they've hired me to remove somebody. Like, uh, you know, that could include killing them. It could. Whoa, one hell of a map. Alright, we're coming in here. Into Melee from the cliffs. Uh, I mean, the archives is nearby. That's a useful place. Why do I need to care where Valeria is? I mean... Even if she is happening around, hap, hanging around the chapel, happening around the channel, I don't know yeah, words. Uh, Victus is presumably up in the manor. All right, this is a town. Uh, I was looking for other map pages and clicked the wrong button there. There are no other map pages. What do we have? Two healing potions. Mr. Garrett, it is good to finally track you down in request for assistance. Yes, we've heard this read out already. Yes, the Melian. Okay. I presume the res residence of Melius. Melian. Right, well, I don't want to just leave that here, right? That would be. Uh, I don't want to be carrying it with me. Sealed evidence. Oh, I can't read it. Fair enough, I suppose. Um, 19 broadheads, 5 waters, 3 moss, 4 ropes. Uh, it's a little short on. 
waters and mosses, if the thing is I don't have any kind of shop to buy things with. You would think, given a down payment of 3,000 loot, I'm hearing somebody up above. If it was down to 3,000 loot, I'd be able to buy some equipment of my choice, but apparently not. Alright. What's he got on his belt there? Something bright. Again, yeah, daylight missions, I do not understand. Well, I mean, I, I get why people like to do them, but they they really meant for poor... Uh, water crystal? What's a water crystal for? They just tend to have extreme dark light boundaries. I suppose that's... So this is always the trouble many missions have, where uh, you don't really know what's what's where, right? You don't really know, get clear information about where where's light and where's dark. Here it's well, bright lights, dark shadows. Now I could just rope my way right up there. But... Yeah, kind of tempted to do that rather than go up this mountain path. Let's see how high will it hit me. Gonna need a second one, aren't I? Somebody hasn't noticed there's a water crystal missing. Down banners, they're the real villains. Well, let's climb these ropes. Yeah, we got it. Can you just grab onto that one? Apparently not. <laughs> well, this is gonna be, uh, some fun uh, changes. Let's try a, a different rope. A low one. So if we're just jumping straight up, we might have better luck. Okay. Quiet, uh, get it quiet. Oh, it's not very dark here. It's it looks as dark as down there, but it's not. I guess it's the lamp. The lamp is maybe lighting me up a bit. This guy doesn't seem to be going anywhere. Mm. Alright. Was there anything down there? Maybe there is, so I should check it out, right? Keep up my vandalism business. This is, this is the main reason I came to this town, after all. I heard they had a lot of banners that needed dealing with. Am I really going to wait for that guy to go all the way back? Yeah, there is something out here. Alright, so you hang out. What is that there? So, well, some bottles. Maybe there's, maybe they're valuable. It does kind of look like they have been. Someone will have already finished uh, drinking Ooh, over there. Everything in them, but you never know. Maybe they fell off the edge before they could. You know what? Speaking of falling off the edge. Let's just get rid of that evidence. We're gonna need the clutter and we don't want anybody finding it. Oh, hello. 
War cave. Not when I came in. To have a little off on duty kip, right? So that won't be noticed. Hmm. What is that? Guardsman Salas, you will not be told again. Should you be found asleep at your post, but one more time, I will personally slit your belly open and hang you by your entrails in the barracks. The flies and other vermin will take care of the rest, and I assure you that you'll be alive to experience every excruciating detail. But, by all means, if you think this threat is idle, do test me. I beg you. Valeria. Well, he's worked out a good plan. He would be found sleeping here in the cave, which isn't, you know, he's not posted in the cave, right? He's decided you could sleep elsewhere. Very, very, very smart. Hmm. I'm afraid that might wake him, but it had to be a jump because I would have got. Well, it might might have worked as a. Can I climb this stuff? No. Well, he seems to be pretty firmly asleep. Uh, I probably would have. If I tried to mantle it, probably would have got stuck. It's always weird playing a Thief 2 mission after a Thief 1 where suddenly Garrett just can't jump anymore. Okay, so here we are coming out on the northeast corner of town. Hello, who's somebody standing guard there? Can't see a face, it's a little disconcerting. Hmm, not really sure where we are. Tall building. I mean, it's maybe not fully the northeast corner. Oh, I can't see a face because they're looking the other way. Or maybe they turn around. They don't seem to have any weapons. I... Odd. What we have there? Let's see what's down here. Just anything? Oh, yeah, we can. A lot of sneaking around. Hello? I had a lot of kind of hissing sound there. It's like. I think it's just an ambient environmental, but God, it just suddenly gave me. Uh, it wasn't the snake hissing sound, but it really gave me sudden flashbacks to uh, the snakes in Pirate's Hoy. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of insecty buzz sound there, but it was a little quieter. Oh, yes, looks like a good place to come into town. Right in the middle of the north, as a matter. <laughs> oh, really well uh, oiled machine there. It's running very quietly. Yeah, so this is the dome on the manor. This is kind of where we're supposed to be already. Where we're supposed to be finding our way to. Interesting. How close does that guard come? Let's see. Objective one finish meet Basso outside the main gate, right? Well, although we start off near the archives, which is, you know, one of the objectives. I guess we didn't go in that way, so. Hello? So I could get on the roof from here, or I could go down to this graveyard. This seem kind of mutually exclusive right now. I'm going to take this roof option. 
He's stored some crates up here. How did he get them up here? Oh, it's a nice quiet rift too. Ooh, frame rate. Yeah, frame rate. That's not good. There's not many missions that, that give you frame rate troubles like this. It's not purely odd a branch sticking out. It's not going to be purely uh, amount of stuff to draw, I don't think. Hello? We have a mass grave full of bodies and flies, naturally. Something odd is definitely going on here. Hmm. I guess we'll learn more in a little while. Okay, so the roof doesn't actually get me anywhere that I couldn't look up for, right? Oh no, it gets me to this tower. Which is, I guess, part of the manor? There? Oh, this is like north-south. Oh! The map is sideways. Oh, that's gonna do my head in. Right. Yeah, that is, that is the tower. So when I was looking at the northeast corner, we were actually looking here, and we've just come up the side all the way around here, I suppose. So that's where we climbed the wall. Mm, no, no, okay, this is the chapel. Right, right here. That makes more sense, so not the manor. Yes, 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 and this is the tower. So that is where, that is where we climbed the wall then. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. I'm not a fan of sideways maps, they are... Hmm. Make it on top. No, I don't think I'm supposed to get on top of the tower. All right. Seems clear. Also bright. Somebody's here, but they are. That didn't sound like rats. So they say they're asleep, but suddenly they're not no, asleep. Better a false alarm than an emergency. These guys are wearing like face masks. Must be one of them grubbers again. <clears throat> There were watch banners in here, but they cut them all down. So dang it, so whoever was asleep is no longer asleep. Thanks to one misstep on a on the floor I did not even know it was a noisy floor. I guess it was just them asleep at their post. So, hang on, they've got Valeria at the north end, potentially, of this chapel. Oh, windows you can see through, I do not like that. Who'd I see there? Nobody. It's just a doorway, that's not good. I see some loot. The Valerius chambers aren't over here, right? Can't see it. I mean, why would. 
I mean, maybe that's Valeria? Seem. Not seem probable. Got all this, all this massive expanse of tile floor, and they've given me three moss arrows. That's not so cool. <coughs> Not creeping and crawling it is. Well, what's that there? Yeah, slightly different angle than that. Oh, it's just door handles. On a big fancy door. Things make us look like stupid little pottery figures. Never going to impress the ladies this way. Okay, I could climb up there and get up by the statue, but this guy would definitely see me doing so. So if I want to do that, then I'm going to have to uh, relocate him, I think. <gasps> I'm not trying to reach around the corner and grab that, but it's Rob distance is too small. What is that thing in the middle? So no, I'm just noticing there's this big beam across that I could be maybe uh, using a rope on. Let's have a have a gander. No, there's brick. That's brick. But that looks like wood. Well, let's see where this door goes first. Down. All right. Sure. It's a noisy staircase too. All oh, this is the same noisy, noisy tile. Door that's not a door. Oh. Some kind of machinery. With lots of buttons. I don't know what it's for. Kill a machine. Look just like a reading light, to be quite honest with you. Papyrus Mage Hierarchy. Mage Hierarchy is such a tradition, more like a hindrance. Each Archmage must have two apprentices, and this becomes problematic in the long run. For example, out of my two, only Valeria had survived for so long. In fact, out of all seven Archmages, several apprentices have met their demise. We are under pressure to bring the number back to 14, but the task is easier said than done. Victus. Right, I don't think I need to hang on to that. Maybe it is just a magic reading light? Nothing else on these shelves, right? What's the sign? Mini alarm master shut off switch. Okay. Um. I came across this odd seedling the other day. It pulses with life, and if my assumptions prove correct, it may very well be the offspring of a dread. I'm keeping a close eye on this new discovery in hopes that it will produce clues to their mystical world. This seedling? New objectives? Optional, assist the dryad and bring her child back to her. What dryad? Optional, find the dryad and bring her child back to her. Really what it should be saying right now. Okay. I guess if we meet a dryad missing it, it's missing a child, we will... Uh, we will be able to uh, assist her. Valeria and her experiments. She is testing an alchemist's brew of submission, hoping to one day render those disloyal to obey. For now, however, she tests the potion on rats. 
So far it appears to work. She has gone so far as to lock her room, and in order to enter, the rats must arrive at proper levels. She was inspired by a children's story as follows. There once was a woman who owned three cats. Happily they lived until their home was invaded by rats. Oh me, oh my, now what do I do? She cried aloud, but the cats just mewed. Get out, get out, the woman cried. No food for you until I see the last rat's hide. And so the orange cat said, let's run and play. But the rat, he only ran away. Up, up and up he climbed till he stepped out into the sweet sunshine. Oh, freedom, he cried, then leapt away. The orange cat went hungry that day. The little grey cat said, oh, what sport? Into the kitchen he ran, where a rat did cavort. I'll get you, the grey cat cried aloud, then chased the rat and meowed, meowed. So grey cat caught that rat, oh yes, and down in his belly the rat now rests. The white cat said, that looks like fun, and took off in front of everyone. He spotted the rat that had run away and caught him in the midst of fray. Down the third rat went and placed into law, the three cats' rats are no more. Perhaps she is onto something. But for now, I will keep my opinion that this is an, um, an abnormal innovation. But with Valeria, who knows what the end result will produce? Victus. It's very strange that he writes out that at full length. It's like, uh, she was inspired by a children's story. Full stop. Is at most where most people write. But no, Victus decides to give us this complicated riddle. So we have... I mean, I guess he's... he's hmm, in order to enter a room, he's, he's kind of embedding the, the code for himself without writing it down, right? This rat went up, up and up, so it's the top button. This rat went down, down, down into the belly is the bottom button. And number three is going to be in the midst of fray, the middle button. All right. I guess I can uh, write that off and say uh, top, bottom, middle. Well, let's write it up, down, mid. We'll get out this. So this is Victor's room. And that's Valeria's room. And it's locked by this machine. Oh, it's the signs on the wall. Victor's Valeria. So, top. Somebody see a rat rise up. Oh, there is a rat there. I see. Okay, now this is, that is little rat elevators. Okay. I mean, they are obedient. Wait. I know that's wrong. But the middle button doesn't work. This is a problem. I mean, it went dong. I mean, it. Oh, it did work. That. Seems wrong to me, but okay, I guess. It is up, down, down. Well, oh, we're gonna. Just a noisy floor. No. Shining extremely brightly for a key. In the eye mana key. So what's going on up there? <laughs> uh huh. That's right, so what's going on up there. Alright. Try and be quiet, please. I've made an example of those filthy green drafts. That should prove most effective in quelling more uprising. At least it will for the time being. Once I find the leader of this little insurrection, there will be many more examples. Perhaps at the front gate. No, this insignificant little town is too isolated, and no one will be arriving to see their dangling, sangy corpses there. I suppose I could have the bodies chopped into bits and pieces displayed all over, but honestly, you lose something when all you can see is a severed foot. An entire corpse. Now that makes an impression. I want anguish. Valeria. Well, they seem to be... Oh, that's why they... We saw the thing coming out of the roof. They've been uh, invading the roof. The dryads have been invading the place's plant life. I assume. Destroying us. And causing rather a lot of disruption. I like that. 
I like that. It's collapsed, uh, collapsed walls. Very nice touch. Desk dislodged because of it. Accessing the archives was no easy task. When we arrived, Victus took ownership of the building and implemented security measures that he did not disclose to anyone. Not even to me. Even after all this time, he suspects me capable of betrayal, just to move up in the ranks. But his precautionary measures were for naught. See, he prided himself on his knowledge of hierarchy within the Major Order. So after attempting various combinations, I discovered the numbers were simply the total number of Archmages, and then the total number of apprentices at full strength. Two digits each. Easy enough. That granted access to information that I needed to proceed as planned. Valeria. Alright. Archives code. Number archmages. Two digit. Number apprentices. Full. Two digit. We'll clean this off in a minute. I think the second one there is 14, right? Go back and read that scroll we found in Victus's room. Is this something I'm supposed to grab? Does it highlight for probably it barely does? It's locked, a scroll case? An open scroll case is locked? What? Finally, the missives are ready for delivery to our mage order. The constant questioning and documentation becomes a drain on my soul. Hideous. At least these are making their way out of my sight just in time. Can't lockpick that, right? I was expecting some object to use as a key and they didn't change the sound. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, I know what it is, I know what it is. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, that's I see. I see. I do not like that. Uh... Here's an important thing, Glint. It's, it's, uh, it's extremely condescending. On the other hand, I do complain when uh, missions... I mean, this one hasn't been doing it, but when missions fill them... fill up with uh, all kinds of... objects that you can't interact with that just look like normal objects. Hello. I could have gone over, I think. I might have fit down the gap, but, uh... Okay, let's just control that. Oh. Well, he's not going to be needing that anymore. Um... That looks... Pleasant. All great commanders have an army, and I shall be no different. My army, though, will be the greatest this world has ever seen. We will not be confined by the petty laws or moralities of men. Algernon may be mad and a fool, but he's proven useful. Since the day we arrived, he's been a babbling lunatic. But he can create a powerful elixir that puts the drinker in what I've come to call the Shadow Dream. Of course, he is still one of these pathetic, quivering villagers, so I can't let him out of his house. Pathetic, quivering villagers, even. Uh, I can't let him out of his house. I set two guards on him, and we are the only ones that bring him the materials he needs to create his potion. The only people he sees anymore outside of his nightmares. The villagers would kill him if they could. They think he betrayed them and works for us. Really, he hasn't the mental capacity for anything as subtle as treachery. But using their threats against him has caused him to work miracles for us. Fool. As the Shadow Dream goes, the Elixir forces the Imbiber to relive their worst experiences in some sort of hypnotic, dreamlike state. I've seen the effects, though I won't take the draft myself. The user comes out broken, unaware, and oh so vulnerable to any sort of suggestion. They become a shell of what they once were, and an empty vessel can so easily be filled. So I fill them, with malice and violence and abuse, and they serve me most willingly. They turn on their former friends, their former families. It is most gratifying to see. Algernon. Shadow Dream Potion. House with two guards. Needs ink. That's 
do a separate one, I think, yeah. Needs ingredients. Subject 2 had difficulties. I should have known he had a weak mind. So easy to give in and betray everyone he loved. In the end, his dream was haunted with such guilt, his own demons killed him. I suppose when one is so haunted by their actions, the shadow dream will destroy them. Subject 1. Subject 2. Subject 3. And the doors do not seem to have any way to open them. And who are you? You don't have any... A growl I heard or a bubbling? I don't know. Well don't seem to have any way of opening your chamber. So we'll leave you there. Alright, did I pick up anything useful here? The key. And we got rid of our uh, evidence that we had planned, so that's good. Alright, well maybe I want to come back, but for the moment let's leave it as if we were never here. Right, this note. Uh, each Archmage must have two apprentices. Out of all seven Archmages. Several apprentices, right. So it must be 0714. Let's just write it here. Okay. I was at was remembered seven, but then it said it must be two digits. For some reason, I thought, oh, my memory of seven must be wrong. It must be a different number because seven is not a two-digit number. Okay. being sneaky for the moment. I want to see if I can go up there. stand on this ledge. Can't crouch on this ledge. This is not good. I can sort of slide my belly along it, but I can't do anything more. This is certainly going to end in disaster. It seems that this was only conceived of as a way to get in and not a way to get back up or out. Doesn't lead anywhere. Alright, well that's unfortunate because it might be difficult to get back down again. Well, I shouldn't do that there. Oh, there's a ladder. Okay. On the other hand, it's a sloping ladder, so the odds are that it will not stop me, that I'll just slide down it. We'll try it there. And this guy turns around. Again, slope ladders should never be done in the dark engine. They do not work properly. They do not work reliably enough. But, you know, lots of people like to do them anyway. Lots of people don't. Nobody better be taffing around down here. Oh, well. Back to work. There we are. 
really weird to be stuck on a ladder at that angle. It's not, it's not good as a floor, it's not good as a ladder. Click out. You can turn around any minute now. We're going here. Don't even know what those are. Oh, dang it! There's banners here that need attention. Well, there's loot too. So, I guess it's not all bad news. Let's try not moving too much while he's there. Looking this way. Why are there city watch banners in a chapel? That doesn't make any sense to me. Maybe it's supposed to mean something else, but I don't know what. I would prefer to be making. Nothing down the back here. All right, another moment of patience. It's good ambience, I wonder where it's from. noise. Okay, I have to do another jump. That's the bad news. Until they turn around and get back. Yeah, it's going to be a proper jump. News is they probably won't hear me since they didn't before. It's far enough away. It's very hard to tell though how, how well sound carries, especially like suspicious sounds like footsteps on tile. So we'll go and check out the, the bit there. Very weird, quite honestly, to have a, uh, a chapel in this shape. Like which, whose chapel is this? It's not Hammerite, right? But, I mean, it's a very Christian shape, that's why it's weird. A cross shape, the chapels are built in a cross shape because it's, you know, the Christian logo. And it has all kinds of, like, meaning attributed to it. This is the Chapel of the High Fives, I guess. That statue, that lady statue down there was also high-fiving. 
All right, so what's my plan? I guess we need to get back up out of the chapel. All oh, right, so that's the way that looks down into her room. So we're gonna sneak past this guy and get back out, and then we're done with the chapel, I suppose. I guess this guy, he gets, he's not carrying any weapons, right? They must have some kind of magic. Didn't go on top of these. Probably should, right? Can I rip it? <laughs> hmm. Okay, there doesn't seem to be any snuff here. Can't seem to get down. He's right there, I didn't hear him walk up this way. Cause I'm sure I'm gonna make a noise when I drop, so I need to wait till he's at the other end. We'll try and drop off this side. We can soften it with the uh, with the window ledge. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. Next time he comes and goes, we will follow. Don't think there's any more work to be done here. You know how the dome there is lit up, it's a little odd, oh, it's not actually transmitting the light through, so it's lighting up like it's solid. And then transmitting the light through to this side. I don't know the way out, I mean I guess there's the, the door on this side. There's a door down the side. Maybe the doors on both sides? Alright, the door on the uh, side to my right was the one that went uh, down to the cellar. I'm not getting out this way. Okay. Guess we're getting out by the tower again? Hmm. <coughs> Come here briefly. So that's the cellar. That's that. Was there anything else up the side? Statue. The crates by the statue. I don't think that's anything I need. Hmm. Mm. All right. So just, we just want to cross this hallway again. Right, there's doors there. That's the main door, main entry doors of the chapel, I suppose. It's the side door that's locked. Does this guard have a key? I think he might, but no. Okay. Oh. 
Who's over there? He's actually seen me behind him, which is really quite. Oh, you get no medals for false alarms. Quite disconcerting. All right. Back to where we came then, since the other way is one of them's guarded and the other's locked. Good ladder placement. <laughs> Alright, so I saw that window that's kind of broken open in a rather odd way, but we don't need to go in there. Oh, so, well, oh, careful. Oh, up here we can kind of scout the town a little bit, right? At the cost of frame rate. Is that the archives building? It's got a circular balcony on the west end. Yes, that's the archives building. It's kind of probably where I should be trying to get to next, right? right let's go back to the roof. <laughs> and what's this? This is the manor. Right, so that's a circular tower. Whereas this is just the dome. Just a pipe spewing steam, I guess. Oh. If you look at that. Those banners are going to be a pain to cut down. I guess I can rope up to them. Oh, also they... Like, uh... Hanging people, I suppose. Uh... This is quite some village. To which it wasn't so terrible on the frame rate, but uh... there's a guard. He's not guarding a house. That's. Oh, look! They've got little cameras. That's useful knowledge and unhappy knowledge. Hmm, all right, I don't know which house is going to be the one with the potion man. But what I'm thinking is that shadow dream potion sounds exceedingly useful as a possible means of dealing with. Uh, Victus. <laughs> Without necessarily killing him. <laughs> Careful, <Karen. laughs> Okay. Right, and that, now we understand why the plants were uh, showing through the top. And well, now we kind of understand why there's a mass grave as well. Alright, we'll leave the graves, the cemeteries, and stuff like that. For another time, there's possibly more behind the walls there, I'm not sure. Let's go back to where we came, let's see if we can get to the archives. What's this building, do we know? Well, that one. Do I want to get down here and try breaking into it? Can I get back up again? Hmm, yeah, I could rope those crates. Anything here? Oh. May not have a house to sleep in, but he does enjoy the... Make sure he drinks the good wine. Must be French. I assumed it would be uh, locked. Oh, that's a nice banner. Still evil, but nice. Nice looking evil banner. Is this room place then? How do 
thick are those crates in here? It's a little weird that I've still got forest sound effects, but... Uh... So they have passengers on the ground? Or sewers, I suppose. That shouldn't be so terribly surprising. It's that guy turns. So the other guy I can't see. Oh, there is no other guy. So hearing somebody up top? This looks like metal. It's got a wooden edge. Hmm. It's a lot of water flowing in from somewhere. Yeah, okay, I'm hearing the guards up, up above me. That's... Oh no, I'm hearing this go down here. Alright, that's better. That's that's okay. It is the way it sounds for carry. It should not be carrying through the top. Oh, well, I guess it might anyway. There's a hole. Hmm. Alright, I'm hearing both of them is the answer. Where do I want to be going now? I have no idea, to be quite honest. I'll say let's get into the archives, which is the uh, northeast. Where that guy is, I guess. Here's some sort of control panel. I'm gonna be able to get sneak up there and deal with that. I don't know. Should I be trying to? Probably. Darkness. I'm sure, this grating is very loud, and I very few more arrows. I might need one to get up there quickly and get back to this corner, but uh, there is a wooden edge, so I can be f precise and fast, maybe, with some luck. Because I don't know what I'd be switching off. Lights, hopefully. If I turn off all the lights in here, I'd be happier. If I could turn off all the lights in town, I'd be ecstatic. So that's not going to happen. No, no, don't face this way, man. Face the wall. That guy seems to have got stuck. That's bad news. I'm probably fixing with a quick save, quick load, but uh... Alright, he's facing the wall. Time for me to make my move. Just step out into the light and then just step back into the shadow. No, oh, this is I don't know where. Pair notice low flow detected in northern sewer systems. Send someone down to make sure the drain isn't blocked. Adjust water pressure to the default setting to remove any blockages. Maintenance classified as urgent. Not emergency area. Northern sewer flow to default. Something like that. 
He's done with this. Is that what these control panels are going to do? I hope they're light, but uh, this is sending someone down, so. Uh. It's annoying that that wasn't the proper reader, because it's just like. I have to go and throw it twice to actually have a chance to read all the text. I guess I could rope my way down. That might be uh, a benefit of being here. Strange noises. Very, very strange. I don't know where the other guy went. He was walking around down here, and it's. He doesn't seem to be stuck where he was before. He seems to have just vanished. I know, I can hear footsteps. I can't squeeze through there. So this is footsteps weren't carrying far enough. Okay, so he's still stuck. Right, which way is he facing? This way. Well, I'm going to do a quick save, quick load. Because if he's fully stuck and doesn't get unstuck, that gives you mission breaking, right? Or at least stealth breaking. Plus, he should be on his normal patrol, that's kind of the point of it. He seems to have got unstuck. I don't, I don't know where he's gone. He doesn't seem to be stuck anymore. Facing the switches. Hmm. Which one's which? How do we know? If we set them all to middle, I suppose, then we don't, then that's fine. If they're all in the middle, then they should all be unblocked, whichever one is the north. Okay, it is nice. Nice detail. All right, we can set them to low or high that's well we've set them all to low so next if i set them all to high i should definitely clear it right one way or the other you'd expect the high flow to put it to uh be better at clearing blockages down that way where he's going and we've got to check out that pipe as well but that's the pipe is west I mean maybe we don't have to do anything with the northern sewer at all right maybe that's just color Right, they're all on 
high. Is that good or bad? Yes. Is good or bad. Right, stay in the shadows, Garrett. Try and, try and see around the corners. I think we got seen. Yeah, that upstairs seems pretty unbothered by it all. Not sure how, but uh, these guys have super peripheral vision. I was trying to move while his back was turned because he turns to face that same direction again. And that did not work out so well. Maybe I should mantle this. That ends now. Is that more masks? Why are there so many masks in this town? Isn't that it's the Milii, not the Gervasii? Oh shit, I'm stuck in here. Properly. Can't. Can't crouch. There we are. Is he not going to stop now? Is he just going to go back and forth at high speed? I'm annoyed that I get down there and I get stuck in the corner. If he's not going to stop and observe the gauges, this is going to be very difficult. Okay, he still does. Alright. He should not see me here. He still has pathing problems, but... Um, That's all right. So I do kind of want to check out that pipe as well, but uh, I don't know what the water crystals and pipe crystals are for. They seem important. The first two guards we saw had them, and none of us have had anything like it. Very odd. Maybe loot this all there is down here. Maybe it's the only reason to be here. Gonna check the corner by the generator? I should. I'm gonna wait for this guy to come and go again. Unfortunately, he's very slow, but. Is the masks missing? No, he's he's checking on the generator. Okay. Okay, well he didn't apparently did not hear that. Or at least didn't hear it badly enough. It looks like there's nothing down there. Okay. Getting back out should be easy enough, but uh, getting in here was more difficult than planned. Alright, so if we go back up the rope, we can collect our rope. Um, 
and then head towards this pipe. Not sure why I'm messing about with the sewers, particularly what's west. West goes to the manor. Right, so I bet this is another way into the manor. And not another way into the archives. Alright, what's this guy? Which way is he facing? This way. Okay. Oh, he's got a he's got a loot. I didn't I didn't notice that before. Where's that apple? You know, it's an apple day keeps the doctor away. You know, if it's uh probably weren't thinking about using it to heal broken ankles, but uh, it works surprisingly well. Now I've got a decent number of hit points. I can... I'm not 100% sure whether I'm 4 below or 5 below. Oh, the healing potion is like, it'd be fine to, to use it right now, right? <laughs> yeah, it's not going to take me up to 4. One short of four. <laughs> All right, I mean, okay, I could go back. Me from it. So I could try and go back out that way, but you know what? Maybe we don't need to. Don't know what the guard patrols out here are like, though. Well, there's one of them. along the entire path. Okay. Where are we? I don't know, but we could see kind of a collector thing. This building here to the left. Oh, it's got a banner on it. The archives right beside me. Oh, shoot. I'm gonna climb the rope, but I realized I have work to do. position to see me here. It's a little more exposed. Okay, right. Huh? Alright, that'll do. Now we can try the... Because this is the archive building that we're at. Not 
Not even sure this one exists physically. Maybe the exception that gets to live. What? Oh, the ring was inside. Not is not in it as a container, and I propped it through the container. Just you don't you know how bad everybody who's played this game knows how bad the propping is. Why you really don't do things that way? Oh, we could get seen here quite easily, I think. Uh, sentry. So this is a circular. Uh, balcony that makes it highly visible as the archive building, kind of identifiable. No, I didn't want that. I wanted to just stand on them. How am I going to do this? Like Alright. This should be easier. Oh, there's a bloody wooden roof as well, you know, broke everything. I guess I'm gonna have to for this one. Oh, that's not wood. Looks like wood. That really does look like it's supposed to be wooden planks, okay. door just is not a door, which is, you know, it's the way doors work. Some doors just don't exist. They look like doors, but they're not. Everyone knows this. Yeah, it's a sun. God damn it. So we're gonna go out this side. What it's telling is like, okay, we've done this, sealed off this other door. Oh no, we can't. Right, going up here. This is not. That's way too thin for a mantling. So yes, we'd like it not to go right over it. That's too thin for a reliable mantling, unless you're very precise with your curse position and when you decide to mantle. So. Yeah, it's not news that I've got. Nice view. Complaints about uh, well, it's not used that the dark engine has janky mo as fuck movement. It's okay if you stick within broad parameters and you know large rough sizes, but oh uh, well. I've seen so many people just struggle with the base game. Uh, oh, that's where I came in. I've got some weird magical barrier on the main gate, I guess. The way I came in was... was the better way. Right, this is gonna be bad. <laughs> okay, this is not... No. I did attach the ladder somehow. Alright. I appreciate this roof is not noisy. So this is the archives building that I need to get in somewhere else, but that's not a door, so what the hell? Do I have to go in the ground floor somewhere? Alright, well I remember this place. These guys have the cheap wine, but they left some money, so... And a silver nugget, for some reason. Hmm... So how am I going to get into the archives building? There was a camera around the front. Of course, they had the security system. And the codes. I'm not going to be able to get in this way. So, do I just go down the other side of this tower? 
seems perhaps ill advised, but maybe this is going to be my best best bet. That went a little smoother that time. Don't seem to be anybody looking this way at the moment. So this is this tower here. Okay, it's attached to the archives. So maybe it'll get me inside. Oh, these places are falling up to pieces. Holes in the walls. I guess this is the dryad they've been fighting, right? So that's, that's, that's the backstory. this fancy blatant silverware all right no we're not gonna get into the archives this way get out of the tower and maybe get around oh shit you know what I just realized it has been well over an hour so I'm gonna end the episode here thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you soon for the next one